This video is going to demonstrate how to create a picture-in-picture -picture or video-in-picture inside of Wirecast. First of all, you need to transfer your pictures or videos to the computer. If you record it on an iPad, you can simply go to your camera roll and you can select the pictures or videos that you would like to use. You're going to tap on the share icon. You're going to tap on AirDrop. Make sure that you are close to the computer and it should detect the computer. Select the computer and then on the computer you want to make sure to click accept. This will download the pictures and videos from your iPad to the computer so you can use them for your broadcast. You will see a blue circle goes around the image icon. This is indicating the files are being transferred. When that blue circle is gone, the images have been downloaded. You can either click open or you can find your downloads folder and you can open them here. Here you can see the pictures and video that I have transferred. Inside of Wirecast, I want to put those videos and pictures on a layer above my video layers. I have my camera already set up. I'm going to set up a picture layer up here. I click on the plus. I want to add a media file and here I can go to my downloads folder. I can find the different pictures or videos that I have. In this case, I'm just going to choose that one. And now I have this picture. If I want to have this picture over where I'm talking, notice how I have the video camera selected, I have my picture selected, and there's a green light next to each. I can move this shot around. I can also select the shot, go in, to the shot layer properties and I can change the X and Y scale to make it smaller. I can move it here. Now to maintain the aspect ratio make sure that the lock is selected. If the lock is not selected you can stretch out a picture and skew it. This does not look good so I recommend always keeping the lock selected. Make sure that both of these shots are ready and then you simply can switch them and you can see that's what your shot looks like. Another way of doing this is if you wanted to create a new shot specifically with this in it, you could click on the plus sign. We could add a new shot and in this new shot, let me go ahead and clear both of my layers just to make sure everything's out. Inside of my new shot, I can click on the layer, the shot layer properties. I can click on what layers are here. I'm going to call this picture and picture. I can click on the plus sign to add a source. I'm also going to add in a media file. And I will choose one of the pictures. And now I have the picture. This is a different picture over the top of my shot. I can select this and I can go to shot layers, I can see the properties, and again, I can shrink this shot down, I can move it to where I want it to be, I can do other things as well, but this is all I'm going to do for right now. Now what I've done is I've created this shot called picture in picture, you can see it labeled down here, so I don't even have to set up the shot, I can use my other shots throughout the show, and when it's time to use this shot, it's already preset and pre-built and I can transfer it over. If I'm going to do a video, I could do the same thing. Let me go ahead and edit this shot. I'm going to remove this picture and I'm going to add in a video that I created from the same folder. Here's the video. I can play through it. I'm going to pause it. And with this video, I can do the same thing where I adjust the settings and I can move it to where I want it to be. I can also click on these three ellipses and I can have the video start at a certain point. It says jump, I can have it go to a certain spot or I could have it, when it's done, I could have it loop, hold or remove. In this case, it's just showing the wind, so I think I'm going to have the video loop when the person's done talking, when the anchor's done talking, then the shot can be switched back to the shot without. 
So again, you can preset your shots. And in this case, you can see as soon as I hit play, the video started playing. When the anchor is done talking, I can go back to my previous shot and my shot is gone. So that's a simple way how to add a picture-in-picture -picture or video-in-picture inside of Wirecast for your broadcasts.